Well, this is easy. In this demonstration, I'm actually trying to help somebody make a shell. Um, if you want to know what's going on, I'm just kind of helping somebody out. So if you want to watch, go ahead. Um, I have a script that makes shells. Okay, that's actually adds thicknesses or what you call making a shell. And things don't work like they normally do. Okay, if we go to the brush here and go to the Z Modeler and right click and all polygons with keyword mesh and we drag in okay it's not working like I was expecting to okay on certain object it will and certain object it won't so we need to find another route to do this okay so uh, just right click this here and just put this back to the default alright and let's say we, we use on a standard brush now I want you to time me and I'm going to show you um, how you would normally do this then I'm going to show you a very quick way because I know you was very concerned about time consuming all right so let's get started and go so I would go here I would go to Z modeler and I would right click over this face here and I would need to uh, delete that and uh, by default it was a single poly so we'll go to fly island then we would delete that we were over a face, right click, we need to go to key mesh, and all polygons, and drag out or in. Alright, I'm going to drag out because I like that better. This is what makes thickness. Alright, that does take a little bit of time. Okay, well, I'm going to show you a quick way to do this. Alright, very simple. Um, I'm not going to go over all the detail, but I have this macro script here and basically you set up hotkeys for this it cycles between two brushes all right you, you can go up to three brushes with one hotkey if you don't like using the hotkeys you can actually use your scroll mouse wheel as a hotkey um, you can search my videos on this uh, z modeler polygon for the z modeler and it'll give you more information how to set this up what i got this set up for let's go ahead and reload all these here is the two brushes that I normally would use to uh, do this. I'm going to press the hotkey and you'll see it's in edit mode here. And I got delete, press this same hotkey again, and it's key remesh. So if I press the hotkey, delete, press the same hotkey, all right, key remesh. All right, let's say we're going to start like uh, we did the first time, and it, you can see it took a little bit of time to do that so let's say we're going to start off here then when I say go or I'm going to say one two three go and watch uh, how quick I can do this alrighty one keep an eye on my brush up here ready and I'm not even going to have to right click one two three go that quick and it's done and that did not take any time at all if you want to see that again that quick very simple and that's how you make a shell thank you